What's up guys? Right now I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to get the unlimited Wi-Fi tethering on your Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Um, I've also done this on my other T-Mobile devices like my uh, Galaxy Note 2, my Note 3, and my Nexus 5. Um, sorry about all those warnings and things at the bottom of the screen. Try to ignore that. But um, uh, you do have to have a T-Mobile phone to, to use this method. I'm not sure if it works on other carriers or not. I've only tested it on the T-Mobile network. Um, so also, quick disclaimer, um, you're going to need to have root access to do this. Um, so if you, if you don't have root access, this is not going to work. And you also have to have an unlimited uh, data plan with T-Mobile. So if you don't have that, this won't work either. Um, so just... Uh, real quick, I'm going to show you my information. So you can see I do have the Note 4, and it is working on the Note 4. Um, no, I don't want to change that. Uh, so there's device name and model number, Android version. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started. Go ahead and open up your Play Store. And search for the Wi-Fi Tether Router by Fabio Grasso. Oh, wrong one. All right, there we go. So I do believe it costs like $2 or $3, something like that. It is well worth the money, um, especially if you're going to do this method because, you know, you can use 100 gigs of, of Wi-Fi tethering and unless T-Mobile gets pissed at you, it's, it's not going to get turned off or anything like that. So once you get it open, um, for me, nothing popped up or anything like that. But when you first install the application, um, it does come up with a short uh, configuration setting list or something like that. And it says if you're on Android 4.4, then to tick on one of the settings or to put a check mark on one of the settings. Um, if it tells you that, go ahead and put the check mark on the setting. That way you don't have any problems. Um, then once you get that done, go into configure and go down to where it says APN settings. Um, I've already made the new APN. Um, I'll go ahead and delete it just for the sake of the video. Um, but let me show you the stock one. So it's T-Mobile US on the fast.tmobile APN and APN protocol IPv6, roaming protocol IPv4. So we want to make a new APN with the APN protocol IPv4 instead of IPv6. So let's go back and hit that little addition. Then for the name, you can name it anything you want. Tethering. For the APN, it's going to be the same. Fast.tmobile.com. Pretty sure I have to have an O there. All right. Then come down here to the APN protocol and roaming protocol. For some people, it's already gonna be set on IPv4. Um, so if it is, you're all good to go. But if it is set on IPv6, just make sure you change it to IPv4. That way they're both IPv4. Um, so when you're done with that, go ahead and save and tick that on. There we go. All right, so then go back to your Wi-Fi tether router and uh, when you turn it on, uh, of course, it'll ask for root access, go ahead and grant. Um, and remember to set up your network name and your network password and things like that if you don't want anybody ju jumping on your uh, your phone tethering like one of your neighbors or something like that. Um, so then once you have that all done, you are good to go to use the unlimited Wi-Fi tether with your unlimited data plan on T-Mobile. Um, so if this video helped you out, give the video a like. And if you're on the forums, uh, hit that thanks button. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below or comment on the forum. Um, I'll try to answer any questions you have. Um, so thanks, guys, for watching, and have a good one.